Ja som veľmi rád, že Slovensko sa zaradí ako 17. krajina medzi tie štáty, ktoré sa rozhodli podporiť poštovou známkou boj s rakovinou. Tohto mesiaca som podpísal rozhodnutie o sérii známok na budúci rok, medzi ktoré je zaradená aj americká známka, ktorou v roku 1998 Baláš Bodaj v Spojených štátoch amerických zahájil iniciatívu podpory formou poštovej známky pre liežbu rakoviny prsníka. U nás takáto známka bude vydaná k 12. aprílu na budúci rok, čo je Deň narcisov. Zároveň s vtedy organizovanou verejnou zbierkou na podporu liečby rakoviny na Slovensku. Považujem to za veľmi dôležité nielen gesto, ale prejav solidarity s chorými a zároveň podporu, ktorú, ktorú Slovenská republika cez Slovenskú poštu môže prejaviť takejto iniciatíve a medzinárodnej spolupráci. I'm very proud that uh, Slovakia is the 17th country, as the minister said, to have the stamp. Uh, I just want to say a word about Dr. Bodai. He's a breast cancer researcher in California, and he came up with this idea for a stamp while he was writing Christmas cards to his friends, and he went to the post office in the United States to uh, initiate this project, and the post office said, no, we can't do this. And he went to the Congress, and the Congress said, no, we can't do this. And he eventually got 250,000 citizens in the United States to uh, petition the Congress. And finally, he got this uh, post office in the United States to agree to have this. And it's raised over $80 million for cancer research in the United States. Uh, subsequently, Dr. Bodai has traveled to many countries, including here in Bratislava, Slovakia, where he was a few months ago and uh, to sell this very simple idea. And I'm very pleased Minister Figel and the Slovak government have so, so quickly adopted this uh, project which will help uh, uh, patients of breast cancer and all kinds of cancer in the future create more awareness and help with research.